Greetings, I'm Malin, and today I wanted to talk about how painting changed my life and specifically how Bob Ross, you know, affected my life a lot. Um, it would have been over a month ago, I was kind of going through another downward spiral kind of period, you know, I've come back from, you know, recently moved back to like my hometown, living with my mum and it's not really the ideal situation and I'm kind of like, where am I going next? What am I doing with my life? Kind of just feeling lost. And one day I was feeling really bad and I was like, you know, when I feel bad, I, I tend to go towards playing video games and then that leads to, you know, um, either spending way too much time on there or going on and then just wasting a lot of time on YouTube or watching movies or a TV show and then that leads to me just eating whatever's easiest around and whatever tastes the best. It makes me feel better and kind of eases the anxiety that I felt and I guess I kind of got sick of that cycle and how it was kind of perpetuating this negative downward spiral and I just decided one day you know like I was like oh I'm not feeling great so I'll kind of accept that but if I play video games or if I watch a movie or if I do something like that then it's kind of going to make me feel worse and the rest of the day is kind of go, going to go downwards so I was looking through flicking through documentaries to kind of find something to inspire me and I found Bob Ross the joy of painting on I think it was just on SBS I don't even remember what episode I watched first but I just watched him and I was like mesmerized and he was he's such a happy you know like positive kind of person and you know all these all these kind of quotes that he says you know we don't have accident we, we don't make mistakes we have happy accidents and kind of on the canvas we have control to do the things that we want to and it kind of set a light bulb kind of in my mind you know like and it piqued this interest, you know, like, oh, maybe I should try painting, this seems really cool. And so I kind of, that got me into painting and I kind of bought supplies and I bought more supplies and I bought better supplies because the supplies I had weren't good, but I was enjoying it so much that I wanted to, you know, spend money on it. And, you know, it's nice to kind of pick up a new hobby and fall in love with something new. And... It's also nice to have this feeling of like control and like, you know, Bob Ross kind of says that when you paint, you should do what you enjoy painting. You should paint the colors that you like. You should paint what you think, whatever you think should be on there should be on there. And I hadn't really thought about life or like anything like that for so long, or maybe since I was a kid, you know, because we get so caught up in all these things that we should be doing, you know, I should be doing this job so that I'm earning money so then, you know, my parents are happy that I'm in something solid and I should be dedicating myself to these kind of goals, you know, sacrificing those sorts of things so then one day, you know, maybe I could achieve like my big dream and, you know, one day, you know, maybe I could be famous and then I'd be accepted for these kind of things and then it would all seem worth it. And I realized that I was doing those things for other people because they were other people's ideas and what I thought other people would want of me rather than what I wanted and what I enjoyed and what I was going to create, you know, on my canvas of life to kind of say, use it as a metaphor. And life is kind of like painting, you know, we, we do have certain control over it, but we can't really force it and you know, sometimes some things happen, kind of mistakes or happy accidents and you don't have to kind of live with those things. You can kind of correct them and move on. And that was kind of an important thing for me to kind of understand. And it's, you know, kind of created this, this spiral, you know, like made me realize what what I liked and what were the things that I actually enjoyed rather than like what things should I be doing um, you know 
desire to please other people and to make them happy and that's not really a great way to live. So I just kind of wanted to share kind of those thoughts that I had with painting and what I'd kind of got from listening to Bob Ross and watching him and yeah, thank you for watching if you did and I'll see you in the next video.